a planet is generally regarded as a world orbiting a star. There are, however, many planets that do not orbit stars, but rather drift through interstellar space. Planets like these are called rogue planets. Formation of rogue planets. In interstellar space, rogue planets are unlikely to form. It is simply too cold for material to coalesce into a planet, and the absence of a star makes it impossible for material to group together. Along with other planets, rogue planets are likely to form around stars. As many as a hundred planets can form during the formation of a solar system, although most solar systems contain less than ten planets. A majority of the formed planets will collide with and absorb one another, increasing their size and reducing their number. The young planets, however, may be thrown entirely out of their solar systems. How many rogues are there? Astronomers estimate there are two Jupiter-sized rogue planets for every star in the Milky Way based on the number of rogue planets discovered and models of solar system formation. Over 200 billion rogue planets are possible in the Milky Way when only considering massive gas giants. Is life possible on rogue planets? It is unlikely that life could exist on a rogue planet without a parent star to provide heat and without a habitable zone. If certain conditions are met, life could exist on rogue planets. A rogue planet's surface would likely be uninhabitable for life. Any life form would have to seek refuge in the planet's interior. Rogue planets could form vast subsurface oceans of liquid water if they retain enough heat to melt the ice beneath their crust. How to detect them? Every method for detecting exoplanets does not work for rogue planets since they don't orbit a star. Since there is no star to reflect light from, rogue planets are extremely difficult to detect. Gravitational microlensing is the most reliable method for detecting rogue planets. Planets' gravitational pull can cause distortions in space as a result of this method. Astronomers search vast areas of space for gravitational microlensing in order to find rogue planets. Currently, this is the only method used to detect rogue planets. Thanks for watching.